Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program with me, Lord Cucumber. Okay, um, so we lost Valentina. Uh, yeah, that happened. Um, we've got... Let's look at the science. No, this is not the science building. I keep clicking the wrong building. So I, I've been experimenting off-screen with um, the, the bits and bobs that I have. And um, considering the... Oh, a solid fuel booster. The hammer. The hammer. Eh, it's okay. Alright, and then the thumper. The thumper. Activate that at 23 kilometers. Are you crazy? That speed is also not... That's just not done. You don't do that. That's ridiculous. Oh, the swivel engine. We don't have the swivel engine? Really? Escape trajectory. Um, oh. <coughs> well, I don't suspect we'll get into an escape trajectory anytime soon, so, no. <laughs> um, not an escape trajectory thing? No, 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 no. And flight, flight thing is good. But I'm guessing we'll do this. It'll give us one science. Wow. Fantastic. Uh, so these VIPs and visual surveys, not a good idea. Mm hmm. Okay, but 20 kilometers, that's actually not so bad. We, we could easily make that, I think. Uh, Mark 16 parachute and flight over Kerbin, which, which would give us 20,000 and some science, huh, maybe. But I think the landed thing is probably good, but we've got active things. Oh yeah, the test thing, the decoupler. Yeah, we'll do that first. Why not? The, 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 the decoupler thing is probably easier to do. Let's see. That part is that a TR18 stack the copper thing? Is it? Looks like it. Okay. Hey man, that's cool. Free monies. Totally awesome. We'll we'll test it. We'll we'll just test it. We won't even name this thing. Uh, let's see. We'll put a scientist in so we have some experience. Can we? Is that an option? Can we put our scientist? A new scientist, Mechki. We're not going to go anywhere, so... Hmm. Alright, science! Faux science! There we go, free money! Awesome. And uh, the point. Cover vessel. Amazing. See, all this science totally worked. She, she actually got experience for that. Cool, so this is how you give your scientists experience. Funny. Oh, we've got some debris there. Let's recover that. Is there any damage? No, I think we're fine. Alright. So the space dig was not a success. Well, it's in a name, right? Um, let's go to our science. No, I actually wanted to see if we can... No. Ah, uh, yes. We need this. Bailout grant. Immediately. Appreciation campaign. Mm. No. Outsourced R&D. That's expensive, man. No. Takes 5% of the reputation gains. <laughs> That's not going to help us. This might help. But it's going to cost us quite a bit. All 12,000 points of funds, we get one science. This is... Just, it's, it's not gonna work right now. Uh, Alright, let's look at the missions again. Okay. So Thumper will get us three science, which is a huge amount. No, no. It's not, actually. <laughs> uh, and actually, the Thumper might get us to 20 kilometers, I realize. Yeah. I didn't think that would be a thing. 
but it might if we use two or three. Wouldn't it? So... Now, we're going to only take one at a time. We've got two missions already because we have the orbit thing. And, and we have the speed thing, apparently. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, you can just go. Where are you, Thumper? Alright, Thumper. Thumpa! I'll just put a command pod on top and say, okay. Uh, we, I don't think we'll need a heat shield. We're not going to go very far. We will need this, though. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> no. N no. Oh man, did I mess that up? I think I did. I might have. How the hell do you? Zoom in and out. I don't remember. Used to be very easy controls here, um, squads. Oh, okay, fine. Um, okay, so that's that. Put, slap this right on, there we go. Put this thing on under it. Give it a parachute and say, thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor, for the science, yes. Who's gonna fly this? Let's see. We've got. Do we have an extra pilot? We have Tria. Tria is gonna fly this. She needs that experience. So, um, and yet we're not gonna. We won't be. Um, what's this? I yeah, know. I know we did that. Okay. We're gonna launch this thing and say, okay, that's it. That is it. There we go. Tria, you ready for this? It's fairly simple. Get up and dance. Let's go up. Up, 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 and away. Up, be up, 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 be up. Up, be up, up, be up, up, up. Up, up, up. And some more up. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Keep it level. Keep it level. Keep it level, young lady. Keep it... Oh my god, this thing is gonna go... It actually is burning. Oh, wow. That that may have cost us quite a bit. I just hope the chute will deploy. If it doesn't, we're screwed. We're so screwed. Actually, we went to 20 kilometers with that. Huh. Interesting. How high are we gonna go? 32... Whoa, so in one go that will give us we we'll go to thirty thirty two. Oh my god. We actually we would have needed the heat shield. I hope three I will survive, <laughs> guys. <laughs> this is bad to report. Yeah, nothing to report here. Tria is like no Can you blame her? I mean she's gonna go like a meteor. Oh, she's almost there, so it's all right. You should have aimed for like the north or something. Landed in the new biomes. Could have got gotten more science from that. But no, I was dumb. Test flights. Pretty horrible test flight too. Is this broken? Because if it's broken, we're not gonna get it. Minimal pressure. Ah, the pressure is the problem. Alright. Ah, not to worry. You're gonna get into that pressure area pretty soon. You're also gonna get into that heated area, unfortunately. I'm gonna turn that off. You can just go and do his thing. We don't need it. You don't need to keep it level. You just can just drop straight down. And it will drop straight down. Actually, it's dropping really quickly. It's really, really speeding up. Well, it's gonna air brake. We'll be fine. We will be fine. And... Come on! Pressure! We need more pressure! Atmospheric pressure is going up. 
somewhat. Come on. Uh, hmm. Yeah, if this thing doesn't open. Which is very likely to happen. I'm gonna revert the flight. I'm very sorry, but I'm not gonna stand for that. No, wait. Why are the bits and bobs falling off? How's that fair? Oh god. It really isn't going to do it, is it? We broke our parachute. Well, no. Revert flight. To vehicle assembly, because it's the heat shield that messed it up, I'm pretty sure. And it's also the staging that messed it up. So, um... Actually, we only had that heat going up. Hmm. That, so we won't need that. But we will need to do something to the staging. To make sure that our chute doesn't blow out like it did. Alright, so, that's fine. It could take pressure. We'll do it again. With the same kerbal. That was a simulated flight, flight right there. We're gonna just say simulated flight and that's that's it. And Tria, you ready for this? One, two, three, go. Oh man, this thing speeds up ridiculously. And um, remember, we need to sort of veer into the northern sphere. <laughs> veer into the northern sphere. Yes. It's we need to go north. More north. Actually, we're going south. I guess that's fine. Eh, that's fine. It'll work. South is fine. I actually wanted to go north, but okay. That's alright. I am cool with that. I'm just gonna drag it into an aerodynamic sort of thing. Tria's like, yeah! This is fun, guys. Where are we going? Well, we're going to about 25 kilometers because I tried to veer it into that direction. So, and as we are over the ocean now, I think I can safely lose the um, the other bits. There we go. Let's turn her around somewhat. And say goodbye. So, there we go. We'll say bye to the back fuel thing. And then, oh, we actually have a lot of control. Despite the fact that it's, according to the SAS, it's rotating. When it's actually not. So that's pretty interesting. That is an interesting situation. And uh, do we have enough pressure already to... No, there's absolutely no pressure there just yet. But I think it would be a good idea to s prepare it. Okay, so it's not opening yet because it's uh, hasn't got the minimum amount of pressure. But it's not broken. That's what we were going for. Not broken being... There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Alright, honey, don't worry turn off SCS, let it just slide down Tria, you're fine we made our we didn't make our goal? really? why not? what? we had to do that in flight? I picked the wrong one, really? okay, revert flights Shit. I actually picked the wrong one. No. I thought I picked the right one. The one at the um, surface. Okay. Um, well, that's a bit of a thing. Then uh, we're going to do this somewhat differently. We're going <laughs> to drop the amount of fuel in this thing. Because really, it's going to be a problem if we don't. We need to go to 20 kilometers with this thing gonna be a more expensive one then 
Okay, but luckily we have these. And they can lift us very, very high. And we're gonna just do this thing then. Oh man, I had no idea. I thought we were good, but then we weren't. We'll hang a lot of thrust at our bottom right here. Oh, that's too much thrust actually. And how about this? Would this be acceptable to you, game? Actually, it's exactly enough. Okay. Okay, so, technically, this should do it. Hopefully, it'll get us up there alive. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Alright, Tria, for science. I hope. I seriously hope we'll make this. We'll go straight up because we need to go to 20 kilometers. Which is pretty freaking high. I should have set the thrust limiters. We're breaking the sound barrier already, so... And I guess we can lose this. And are we still going to make that? I don't know. No. That's not gonna do it, is it? Nope, that's not gonna do it at all. So, um, we've got ourselves into a bit of a pickle. Hmm. Revert flight to vehicle assembly. If we were to limit the thrust on these things to about 50%, would that help? Are they all changed? The middle one as well? Four and a half. Let's see what that does. We'll mess with that a little bit. And um, I suppose we could take even less fuel in this thing. If it doesn't work. And blast off! There we go. That should last us a little while longer and get us a little somewhat higher, hopefully. That's what I'm go going for, at least. If you can keep it level, Tria, that would be great. Be really appreciating that. And yeah, we're still going, or we're still going. And what broke off there? Don't tell me our thing got destroyed. Right, is this getting us a little... It actually is getting us to 12 kilometers, which isn't enough. 23 kilometers and 100 meters per second. Yeah, that's not going to happen with this. Okay. Alright, revert flight to vehicle assembly, I guess. If we drop the amount of fuel in this even further, to say 60 is the absolute minimum okay hmm. problematic problematic but we got a little higher 12 kilometers is quite a bit more than we had earlier so maybe just maybe Ew, maybe if we up the fuel somewhat to 63, 63 in the middle there as well, and we could also try it with less fuel, oh man, but then again, uh, not having that fuel is going to give us problems, so let's see if this works, shall we? Alright. One, two, three, go! Oh my goodness. Yeah! Already one kilometer up. Going really fast. And I am seriously not dicking around here. Okay. Alright. And that's it.
is it? Did we are we getting higher with this? Eleven kilometers. No, it's actually not doing that. Oh man. What if What if we Yes. I have an idea. Hold on. We'll use this as secondary stage engine and we're gonna fill this up it's gonna be like uh, no you know 50% would be fine well these have 63% that might actually work that might work they'll need to work a bit harder but that's okay they need to keep the speed up then we'll get higher. It's my reasoning. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Hopefully this will do it. Because otherwise we do have a bit of a problem. We took a mission that we cannot complete. At all. And this is alright. I like this. First kilometer of many. And last. There we go. We may be slowing down, but not much. Not by much. Alright. exactly what we need. Is it gonna make it? That would be wonderful. Nope. Ah, drats, really? We were so close. We were so close. So this is not gonna get us up there, is it? 23 kilometers, 100 meters to 200 meters per second, that's going to be a thing. Alright, flight to vehicle assembly. Mm, there is another option. Let's take these off for a second. Take this thing off right now. And because these, these solid fuel boosters are pretty heavy. <laughs> so my guess is, if we take the Reliant, We can have the gimbal one. How much thrust is this? 225, 215, 200. Hmm. Hmm? We buy that, we should. There we go. Spending some money is not a bad thing necessarily. And we need to buy this as well. There we go. So we got the big fuel tanks too now. So that's gonna be Yeah. So this will last us a bit a bit longer, maybe. Can we do this? And then maybe that would that mess up our weight too much? Nineteen tons. Okay. And I have some idea of what to change. Go. Some extra fuel in there. And then maybe if we do it now, we'd be okay? No, 19 tons still, okay. I'm not positive about this whole endeavor so far. 18.7 tons, so we're 0.7 tons too heavy. If we were to drop the solid fuel in this thing, we could drop it to about 10% less fuel in this. Got the thrust limiter to mm, 
by 56. Just to nibble off that fuel. And then this thing would carry us, hopefully, a bit further. So I'm hoping. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Let's try it, I guess. Problem is, do we have radio pickuppers? We do not. That's our main issue here. Huh. Okay. This is all dead weight once they're empty. Should we go with three of them to get up there? Maybe that's a better plan. Let's try with three and then get it all full thrusty sort of. I'm just experimenting here, guys. I have no clue. Oh no, actually, that. Why won't that work? Why will you not work properly? Okay. So, we can just take full fuel and put the thrust delimiter. At, uh, put it on 50%, just for the sake of convenience. It's lighter, so it should lift up easy. Right? Right. Right. Okay. Launch. <laughs> I need to get this. I need to get this thing. It is a problem that I don't have it. Alright. Valentina, um, you will be honored by Tria here. And uh, believe me when I say we're going to give it our very best. So, kaboom! That's a slow launch right there. Oh, well, at least we're going. Oh, we're already going uh, way over 300 meters per second, so that's cool. I guess I should start my engine in the middle here. And just slow her down. Ah, this is better. More control over what we're doing. about 80% thrust here and this is looking way better yep I think this was our problem all along don't need to be so terrible about the whole thing okay this is this is gonna work out probably I'm just gonna say because we're going too fast need to be 100 meters to 200 meters so slow way down way down baby and this is good gonna there we go lose that bit are we gonna make it Probably not, because we need it to be all... We need it to be over 100 meters per second. You son of a bitch. Oh, I should have just gone all out. That would have helped somewhat. Kept it as long as I could, but I... Yeah. But at least we know now that if we launch this thing, we could theoretically do it. Right? I mean, right? 200 meters per second, yes. Um, so we're gonna do it. We are going to do it. Tria, help us out. Help us out here. And once we hit uh, 300 meters per second, I guess we should start our engine in the middle here. One third ahead. To just uh, keep the momentum. All right. Woot. Make sure we keep that momentum at around 250 k kilometers an hour, meters an hour, whatever. There we go. Climbing again. As long as we keep increasing our speed. Okay.
Yes! Made it! And obviously, going to make it down as well. Whew! Well, three ya. That could have ended really badly. <laughs> We're gonna take you home, girl. We are gonna take you home. And you're gonna do it from pretty high up, too. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, take a crew report. Is that gonna use anything? No. Alright, so we made the mission. Thank you, Tria. Man, that could have gone really, really badly. I'm just gonna say... Alright. 32 kilometers is the higher point. And we're dropping. We are dropping. Good. Dropping it back into the atmosphere. Parachute is intact, so we should be fine. Um, we do need some pressure. Minimal pressure. Pressure is uh, going to be a thing. Going to be dropping down at 200 meters per second. And I am guessing we can open the chute right about now at 300 meters per second and 28 kilometers. That should work. Nope, it didn't. Well, fine. We'll open the chute and it will pop eventually. It's alright. We should be go going to air break soon. Thicker atmosphere is coming, so we're almost at the middle position here, so we should be okay. Um, are there... was that debris? It was, actually. Untitled spacecraft debris. There we go, we're breaking already. Great job. Good job, Tria. Alright. And there's more debris dropping on the uh, Kerbal Space Program. Oh, God. Oh, that doesn't hit us. <laughs> It, I think they've barely missed our base. And I don't know where this, this is going to go, but... Um, yeah, I hope nobody lives around here, because that would suck. I'm going to finish this mission right now. This mission is going to be done. Alright. Well, I'm just really, really relieved. I wasn't sure how this was going to end. I really wasn't sure. Oh man. Really? That hit the ground really, really, really hard. Huh. That's a lot of really in one sentence. Okay, kaboom. We lost that. Too bad. At least we made the mission. It took a little, little, you know, couple of simulated efforts, but it was a pretty tough one. Anyway, it's gonna give us money, which is good. We do need money. There we are, and some science, I guess. I don't know. That's not gonna give us anything. We should totally make a crew report. Gonna fast forward it a little bit. And we're coming down five meters per second. Boop, there we go. Alright, let's do an EVA with you. Do a crew report here? No, it's not gonna do any anything. Well oh, climb out. What about over here? Yeah! Awesome. Alright. And I guess you can board again, and we'll recover the vessel. Took the biome from Kerbin's grasslands. We got some science from that. We got 19 science now. Cool. Plus all of that money. I think that was about 30k. Well, we're not doing that again. What was the what was the land at Kerbin then? The, 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 it was this one. We'll do this one and then we'll finish the episode. Why Why not? We need that one science. Give me the one science, damn it. <laughs> okay, so this whole contraption can go. And they need to... Uh, ch Ooh, my god, we can actually get that? Cool, let's get it. 
by all means. Um, the thumper. The thumper is what we need. There we go. Great. 30k for that. I like it. Alright, uh, I guess we'll take one of our scientists along this... Or the engineer. Bill. Bill hasn't flown yet. So there. Launch. Bill can do this. Bill can have a little sciency time. You know, he needs the experience in flight. So Bill, you ready mate? I would think so. Oh, it doesn't have SCS modules. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. There we go, and we made the contract. Of course, I could have just left with less fuel. But I'm an idiot. I'm dumb like that. I guess we'll be um, heading towards this part of Gerben now. I don't know if that's gonna help. Are we gonna land at a, the other end of the bay? We're gonna land in the bay. Great. Alright, well. It's a nice little experience for Bill here. I guess we could just deploy the chute right now. Doesn't really matter. Yay, Bill! Bill's like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with this, man. It's nice. It's nice and cozy up here. Alright. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. Seems that your solid fuel booster is functional, so good to know. I hope they fix this part. If you fast forward, y yeah, probably they fixed it. The chute won't would rip off or not open. Ah, here we go. No problemo. We're gonna drop into the water, splash down. Then Bill's gonna have his um, turn at uh, experiencing flight, and that'll be it. There we go. Crew report. Ooh, we didn't get that one yet. Nice. All right. Recover visual. Recover visual. Ow. We got it right. Did we get the mission? Yeah, we did. Okay, nice. Cool. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't do anything like that. Uh, okay. So, what else do we have? Terrier liquid fuel engine in flight. Mm -hmm. Landed at Kerbin. Yep, I'm gonna do that one. It's easy. Where's the terrier thing? Take that off. It's a nice way to get people experience. This is the terrier thing. It's pretty nice. It's a nice bit of bit of uh, equipment there. Just we don't need to do this. We can just take a, the smallest fuel tank. It won't be going anywhere. Ver not very far anyway. So there we go. And we don't want the chute to deploy immediately. That would be a bad thing. Okay, so yeah, I guess we can do that. Um, who's gonna test this? Not you, Bob. You haven't done anything yet, buddy. Don't you feel responsible to do something? Okay, so this is gonna get us our necessary funds. I'm gonna just throttle right down to 10%. We don't need anything special here. The only thing we need to do is activate the engine. That's all we need. And only for a brief moment. There we go. That's it. That's all we needed to do. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> there we go. Covered parts. Fantastic. And we have science gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with all this precious science because we can't do anything like this yet but your yeah, radio things Ooh, those are really useful to gain uh, to get up there be able to drop our tanks off that's gonna help so I'm gonna get that I'll take it and we'll purchase the four parts as well Alright, but uh, next time we'll try and make orbits. Uh, 
I guess that's that's the next the next bit of um, exploration. If I hadn't spent all my money on this shit, then we would have been fine. But well, anyway, see you next time.